Hi, I'm Angela, an entrepreneur, a beauty queen, model, and mother. And my passion is to empower you to shine. So let's get the magic started. Come to my shopping haul and let's get to viewing the goodies I was able to score here in Riyadh. So for my viewers who already know me, you know I love to travel and I love buying local products and mostly jewelry and fashion from around the world and I love um, curating a closet with pieces from. worldwide that encapsulates culture and tradition. So let's get to going. Here is item number one from one of my favorite stores here in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Kidoki. So here's item number one. If you don't know, Lizard is a jewelry store here in Saudi Arabia. They have many, many physical stores in the region. And also I recently learned in Egypt. And um, what did I get from this um, jewelry store? One of my favorites. Uh, I bought many, quite a few pieces from this store. So let's get to see. Ta da! <laughs> okay, you can't really see the stunning red stone. It's actually called a red agate. And um, yeah, this beautiful pair of earrings is in rose gold, diamonds, and red agate. And um, yes, as you can probably tell, it's a matching set to this beautiful necklace that I bought a few months ago. And I absolutely love it. Um, there is also a matching ring, which I am considering. Um, I'm not quite sure about that yet. And um, the design really reminds me of Bulgari and um, a few other well-known brands um, in Europe and this is like a very very traditional kind of design here in the Middle East I find many other um, stores having a design similar and uh, yeah so beautiful and I can't wait to wear it. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's put it on and give you a show and tell. Voila, here it looks on the ear. I, I love it to bits. Um, and honestly, the lighting doesn't do justice to the beautiful red, the rose gold and the diamonds. But this is the best I can do for now. And uh, yeah so pretty lovely pieces now i'm just going to give you a quick um introduction and explanation on why stones colored stones are very important in the middle eastern culture um, today we're going to talk about red agate and uh, red agate it it has been known and to give power and to enlighten your mind there is a whole range of agates available and this is one is in red and um, a brief history on behind the popularity of red agate so uh, an agate is a type of magma rock that takes many years till it is washed out naturally into the water and that is the reason this stone has elements of water this beautiful stone is composed of silicon dioxide and has the power to add a unique dimension to your perspective. The red agate history is dated back to thousands of years. For those of you who love other colors, there are turquoise, there is lapis lazuli, there is malachite um, readily available at Lazard as well. This is not a sponsored video. This is just me sharing a little bit of culture and history from my travels. So here are some of the beautiful designs that I recently came across 
um, upon uh, looking on their online store you can go to their online store lizard.com and view their pretty pieces they have colored stones and you know fine jewelry and um, even gold and diamonds but i'm particularly attracted um, and drawn to the colored stones because it's not readily available where i come from in asia they have designs and ranges um, for children and um, mid-range prices and the more higher-end luxury pieces that you can view and if you're ever in the region in Saudi Arabia you can pop down to their stores to have a preview and a look-see at their jewelry um, yeah so I hope you you know maybe a few of these pieces um, what have captured your eye and if you want to know more about my shopping experience here with jewelry um, do give me a comment or a tinkle and uh, I'll see how I can help you and uh, share those experiences with you so before we go so on what's my next shopping haul <laughs> yeah. of course it has to be fashion and this is Femi 9, um, it is a local boutique here in Riyadh, um, Saudi Arabia and I chanced upon it a few weeks ago and I recently just got back to it um, a couple of days ago because I saw some pretty dresses from my last trip there and uh, I finally got them and I just wanted to share these beautiful pieces with you and item number one ta -da, is this beautiful dress that um, I scored and um, it's a spaghetti strap dress with a tie front um, this is what it looks like on the website but honestly in person it looks way way prettier look at the the gold um, details I mean how stunning it is right so stunning and um you know it it's just a really comfy flowy dress for the summer and the perfect color for me i love it and uh, i'm going to wear this pretty dress on my um, trip to austria in a few days and i will do a little try and haul and fashion show for you to have a look but meanwhile, let's go on to the second item that I bought from Femi9. So here is a little sundress and um, with the poofy sleeves. This is what it looks like on the online store. Like I said, the the pictures on the website doesn't do it justice. It looks way better in person the colors are more vibrant um, the texture I think you know it just feels much better and I tried this on um, at the changing room and absolutely loved it so the sizing range from um, extra small to large uh, some designs only from small to large uh, for me these items were small the extra small did fit me. I did try this dress um, here and it was in the extra small. It fit me perfectly. However, I found that the torso area was a little bit higher uh, on me because I have, do have a, a longer torso and the fit was, you know, not exactly right for me. Maybe for... Um, someone a little bit more petite or um, maybe in general just for somebody with a shorter torso but then again the dresses were beautiful and i'm still thinking about that dress uh, alternatively i could size up to a small which i have here and um, just wear it a little bit looser or i could you know um, knit and tuck in certain areas where i want to hand stitch and you know alter it a little bit so prices range um, very affordable dresses here from feminine again it's not sponsored it's just me sharing uh, you know my tips and um, 
places that you can uh, have a look see. Uh, prices range from the 300 stars to 500 star, which is roughly 80 to 100 USD. And they have many, many pretty dresses. Um, they have kaftans, sundresses, cocktail dresses. Uh, yeah, so I'm just starting these two items. I do have my eye on a few others. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I, I hope this, get, these tips do help viewers who are thinking of you know, visiting the Saudi uh, region um, in the coming months or you know, in the next year. Um, and you can go score yourself some pretty items from this beautiful city and uh, country where you know, the culture, the designs are a little bit slightly different from um, our home country, right? And that's the beauty of fashion, to experiment to be inclusive uh, with our closet and diverse. And that's the beauty of, um, yeah, having a closet from around the world. So I look forward to showing you how I how will. these pretty pieces, um, you know, you can, you can let me know in the comments whether, um, you know, your own closet, uh, do you curate, do you adore curating pieces from around the world? And uh, if, you live in Saudi or you've been to Saudi, what other stores can you recommend me to have a look, see, and uh, yeah. Cheers! <laughs>